Hello folks, Richard Fontenay here. Yeah, welcome to the uh, Fontenay Magazine e-learning uh, podcast. Now, if you're returning, thank you very much. And if you're new to our e-learning podcast, well, thank you for joining us today. Uh, I really do appreciate your participation. And uh, if you are so inclined, uh, give, me a, give me a thumbs up. Uh, oh, and if, if you haven't done so, uh, please uh, subscribe to this channel. And I thank you in advance. Today's topic is about uh, moving out of our comfort zone uh, when we're uh, faced with change. Why? Because uh, your personal growth and development matter in everything that you do. Life moves at a fast pace. And the pandemic uh, over the past couple of years has just shown us how fast it does move. It, uh, it's proof that the entire world can change in almost an instant. And managing the change we experience, we can feel a lot uh, like uh, rafting on a uh, raging white water. We, uh, we feel like we're being pushed and pulled from all kinds of different directions. We could go through change by telling ourselves that it's temporary. However, meeting change is not quite like that. Sure, the, the change we experience might be temporary, but there is always be another change just coming around the corner. And the only thing that we can be sure of is that change is inevitable and it will always be with us. So here are a number of, um, here are a number of ways to deal with changes that you may be experiencing in your life. Number one, acknowledge the change and then move on. Now it's easy to spend a lot of time fighting the certainty of change, but if you approach it that way, uh, you will lose your chance to deal with it properly. And denying uh, change isn't going to get you anywhere, and it's only going to make things uh, a little bit more difficult for you. So think back uh, throughout your life and ask yourself, how many times have things changed? And you will probably come up with uh, a great number of changes. Perhaps you forgot them, or you didn't really focus on them, um, or uh, they, uh, they just passed you by. But they are real. They are there, and they existed. It is also real that you survived. You made it through the change, and if you did during all those other times, you can do it again. So, take a different approach and decide uh, today that you're going to uh, change how you deal with change. It's okay that uh, things are changing. All you need to do is meet the changes head on and then move on in a very positive way. Number two, recognize that change brings stress. Now, a lot of people underestimate how powerful change can be. Even positive change impacts us. Just uh, because it's a positive change doesn't mean it's going to be easy and you won't feel any stress. A, a promotion or a strengthening from some aspect of your business are positive changes, but you still might feel nervous and anxious about moving up the company, for example, uh, or changing a job or making a business change in tough economic times. So even the best changes you can come up with um, has some discomfort associated with it. Your body reacts to, uh, to change because it feels the stress that you're experiencing. So you need to recognize that uh, with change comes stress. But you also need to throw yourself into the change process and not hide from it. Number three, 
maintain your schedule. Now, for more changes you face, uh, the more challenging it is to maintain a regular schedule. For instance, when you're experiencing a lot of change at work, you may find it difficult to keep your normal routine for sleeping and exercising. We find comfort in routine, and uh, when your routine is turned upside down, you're, you're dealing with more change. So maintain your schedule as close to normal as possible because that's a great way to ease the tension that you may be feeling. It gives your brain a break, and since you're doing something that you would normally do out of habit, it provides a bit of routine for you. Number four, eat well. Now, when stress rears its ugly head, <laughs> a lot of us reach into the pantry for an emotional soother. It's, a, it's rarely a, a celery stick. It's often food laced with high fats and sugar. Now, that will soothe you for, for the moment, but it can impact your sleep and not to say your waistline. So, all of which can fuel uh, your stress levels. So, when you are dealing with change, uh, make a habit of eating well. In fact, eat healthy foods even if you're not dealing with change. Number five, exercise. Now, you don't have to hit the gym for an hour, but making some time of light exercise is critically important uh, to handle uh, stress and when you're going through a change process. Now, whether it's a walk around the block or lifting weights in the garage or whatever it is that uh, turns you on, make time to move your body. Exercise uh, will help you when you are experiencing change. It gives you a break. It gives you a break from all the kinds of things that are going on around you and provides uh, positive endorphins uh, going forward. Number six, rely on support. Uh, now, we enter and exit this world alone, <laughs> but uh, nobody makes it through life uh, on their own. When you're dealing with change, you need to rely on others for some support. So turn to people who know you best and who love you the most. Uh, they will be more likely uh, to be happy to give you a hand, uh, whether it's listening to your woes over a coffee or helping you with something else as you go through the change process. So develop a, a strong support system so that you don't have to face changes all on your own. Now, number seven, uh, focus on the positives. Now, change can feel overwhelming. It might feel as though it's overtaking your entire life. And when you find change looming large, <laughs> larger than life, uh, take a moment to write down all the positive things uh, you experienced in your life and all the positive things that will come about because of the change that you're going to be entering into. Reflect on them. Uh, and uh, most likely you will find that the changes you are going through isn't as tough as you think. Uh, when you focus on the positives, uh, you will find that uh, there's always a silver lining beyond the dark clouds that you might be facing. Number eight, be positive. Now, when you take a, a, a positive and a proactive approach to change, you are really determining which, state, which steps that you would like to take uh, before change comes your way. Now, you're, you're being flexible and adaptable and avoiding the traps of becoming reactive in your behavior when you take a proactive stance. For example, if you have a busy few months ahead, uh, then, uh, then you, you know that you're going to get a little bit stressed out. Uh, then plan for it and determine the uh, potential challenges that you might encounter. Um, 
So when you develop a plan and actions to deal with it, you are really becoming uh, proactive. Um, so what you're doing is making sure um, that everything uh, is in order before you get into the thick of things and your time begins to slip away. Number nine, do a little venting. Now, there's nothing better than having a support group, as I mentioned earlier, and, but, and uh, your support group can provide you with room to vent. Uh, however, if all that you do is vent within your support group, then you, you might want to rethink what your approach is because you may have trapped yourself into a harmful um, cycle of uh, anger and frustration. And that's not really what you want to do. What you want from a support group is uh, positivity and advice uh, that will help you move forward. Now, your support group can serve as a, a, an ear for you to vent about the changes you are experiencing. But more importantly, then help you to gear your thinking toward taking action and to deal with the change process itself. And number 10, avoid social media. Now, going through major changes often pushes people uh, towards a social media outlet. Often they post about the changes and the update that they're uh, going through. Now, you might have the tendency to do the same, or you might be doing it in order to avoid some stress. There's uh, nothing wrong with uh, celebrating major changes by sharing them with friends and on, on social media, but you should always approach social media when you are relaxed. Uh, and if you approach it uh, when you are stressed, then what's going to happen is that you're going to be scrolling news feeds and seeing the highlight reels of everyone you know. And uh, really, that is not going to help you uh, feel any better. Uh, so uh, just take a break from your social media when you're going through a stressful time. Now, in conclusion, uh, there's nothing like accepting change. We do it all the time. Um, just think of all that has passed over the past 10 years, and uh, we still survived all the changes that took place. Uh, when we look after our body, uh, our mind, and our spirit, uh, we can take steps uh, towards uh, the unknown. Uh, why? Because with a healthy mind and a healthy body and a healthy spirit, we prepare ourselves for the future. And otherwise, uh, oh, why are we doing it in the first place? So with change also comes learning. Um, there's an old adage that says, change and learning are inseparable friends, or there are partners. Uh, and uh, um, in a sense, they're two sides of the same coin. Now, with an openness of mind and uh, focusing on positivity, we can meet any change uh, with gratitude and uh, a sense of optimism. However, in life, there are certain givens that we cannot change. And uh, when we meet those givens, um, we need to learn to accept them. And when we accept them for what they are uh, and uh, the reality that they are, then uh, they can help to inspire us and help us to inspire others without any kind of animosity or, or any kind of spite. So thank you for listening, folks. I hope these comments have uh, helped you in your desire uh, to meet the, uh, the change in a positive and, and a developmental way. Uh, by the way, this podcast is based on a chapter in a book that you can find in the uh, Fontenay magazine uh, storefront. Uh, I've uh, provided a link of, uh, to the book uh, in the, uh, in the uh, description below. 
Now, before I go, <laughs> please subscribe to this channel and use it as a, as a source for your ongoing learning. And uh, thank you again in advance. Uh, until, we need, uh, uh, until we meet again next uh, Wednesday, stay safe, keep well, and continue becoming the best version of yourself. Bye for now.